The fact that God is talking about himself is already a metaphysical claim. So that directs us towards metaphysics. When we study metaphysics, we go to the Dianti. The Dianti proves that God is divinely simple, and divine simplicity, by the way, proves the Trinity. Perfect. So when you make all these claims, you're just trying to impose your reading because your God has two right hands. You know what? First, and you agree with the principle. And now, what's happening is, you're questioning the principle again. No, I gave you the principle. Now, your problem stop, is... Stop, stop, I'm not finished yet. Okay. I told you from the very beginning, do you agree with the join principle? In? Do you agree with the principle in which we understand any text is apparent meaning, literally, unless there's indications no. of clues, <laughs> clues to, to take it metaphorically. And you said yes. Yeah, and the clues oh, are wait, stop, stop, stop. and the clues are Wait! You I, said yes. Right. Why are you now questioning that principle? Are you on your period, Mansoor? No, no. Why are, you, why are you questioning that principle? You're questioning the principle because you're talking about the Once, essence of God. Can you ask him to God's stop talking? No, you, he will not ask me. Not engage him. That's why. I have you, I can ask told you, you any Christian can to ask tell me. Ben, let me have how do you understand the text? Instead of dealing with the text where God says Bro. hands, eyes, and face, yeah. and back, yeah. right? Yes. There are four different things about God. Yeah. You are taking you know, originally your he church said, father, open the cameras. your yeah, church yeah, father, he said, yeah. and you're saying, I will take their principles of an illogical predication. Yeah. I'm simply asking you. You know what that is? You tell me from the text. Okay. What yeah, indications I'm are there what in the text? Yeah. So that this should be taken essence, metaphorically. Talking about the essence of God. Go ahead. There you go. Okay. Tell me. The firstly, of God is firstly, making any claims about what God is and isn't is a metaphysical claim. First and foremost, let's make that clear. Now, secondly, Mansour. When we read your books, we know there is a thing called Usul of Tafsir. So you by yourself, mm. by the way, have your own principles. You don't do Quran only. <laughs> Neither do we. And I made that clear three times. Now you keep trying to presuppose a belief I don't have. Now if I come to you and say, why in Al-Kafi does it say this? And you say, well, I'm not sure. But I say, no, 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 but answer it anyway. I'm being disingenuous to what you actually believe. Now, man, so I asked you a very clear question, by the way. Do you know what That's an analog... Right. Yeah, I will. But first, I've no, answered it. I will not yeah. now, not later yeah. now. Back there. Once again, you an analogical predication control. is how we understand this. This is attributing anthropomorphic language to explain the created effect of God. That's how we understand now. Can you tell me, do you even that's know what I'm, I'm saying? I'm not listening to what you're saying because you're too fast. Mm. That's not, that's not, that's not. Just just a a spirit yeah, 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 yeah. Look, look, just tell him, just tell him. An analogical predication is when we try to use a simple thing to explain a very, very complex thing. Anand, Anand, I asked you, what's an analogy? If, you, if you're not listening, I asked you, chill out, chill out, chill out. To understand that text metaphorically, what are the clues or indications? Okay. The word my. The word, okay, is, once again. What does the word my signify? The fact that, he, that God is, is talking signify? about himself. Sorry? The fact that God is talking about himself is already a metaphysical claim. So that directs us towards metaphysics. When we study metaphysics, we go to the Dianti. The Dianti proves that God is divinely simple. And divine simplicity, by the way, proves the Trinity. Perfect. So when you make all these claims, you're just trying to impose your reading because your God has two right hands. You know That's it. <laughs> Ananda, Ananda, Ananda. Wait, wait. So no. what you've done, what you've done is again what, watch, and again. Watch, watch, watch. Instead, watch. Of, right. instead of watch. saying, right. you said, oh, any Hello. claim God makes about himself is metaphysical. Yeah, is that, that yeah. Is false? We can't understand the text unless metaphysical. So right. before... Yeah, okay. Wait, 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 wait. The disciples of Christ... Hey uh Hamza, -huh. is that a flat? Is that a flat? Is, is, that, is that a flat? Um, can you is that a flat? talk on my ears and shout no, my ears? Is that a flat? Nobody is the talking is in flat. their ear. The you are already... Should I show you on video? You said it was flat, bro. You said you didn't know. Anand, <laughs> the disciples of Christ, yep. did they understand about metaphysics like your church father did? Probably, yeah. yeah. And your evidence for that is? Their writings. Why are you changing the claim? Why are you changing the claim? Why are you running away? Anyway, uh, okay. anyway, no, no, can no, we come no, back no, to no, the topic? Let's go, no, Let's go no, back no. to the topic. Why because do you keep to understand to God you keep away is to see how Jesus Christ you explained who God is. Yeah. Mm -hmm. How yeah. the disciples and understood. And he said God is invisible. Uh, so finish. how do you have hands? How do you understand God? Don't let not the heckless interrupt you and you are really busted. Oh, you're swearing at me. No, no, no. You I'm get busted by Apolo the... Apologize. Dog. What did I say? Don't call people busted. Allah put I didn't say busted. What is I said, don't let the heckless interrupt you. you, then you get busted. Oh, sorry, my bad. I misheard you. I accept that. That's precisely my point. Because the hecklers are talking Moses over you, and you are not able to hear what I'm saying. Do you get my point? Yeah. 
What did I just say now? Come on. What did you just say? What did I just say? I'm still waiting. What did I just say? I'm still waiting. I'm still waiting. So, focus. I'm still waiting. I'm going to count a little bit this way. Whoa, whoa, whoa. This guy's, you know, talking up. So I can't hear you because of him. Yeah, yeah. So you need to tell him nicely. Oh, Shut up and listen. Uncle, uncle, uncle. For me, for me, for me. Right, Anand. For the love of Jesus, yeah. that's, you know what I mean? Okay, hear me out now. This is it. Yeah, man. So what God is in yeah. his nature, yeah. you would expect Jesus Christ, upon him be peace, to have explained to his disciples and his disciples to have understood it. So yeah. give me evidence from the disciples that they understood metaphysically like your church fathers understood metaphysically about God. As you said, yeah. this is a metaphysical Jesus claim. Did things that it only needs to be understood in, in through metaphysics. So now tell me what from, say? no, no, you tell me that, that the disciples what understood metaphysically yeah. the way your church fathers yeah. described so, and defined metaphysics. So when they say that Christ is the image of the invisible God, that's a metaphysical claim about God, that he is invisible, he's not visible to us. But Christ is his image made known in physical form. So that's a metaphysical claim right there. A metaphysical understanding they clearly have that Christ is the invisible God made flesh. If Christ Amen. is saying that God who, is who invisible, Christ. No, who said what you just said? Go on, what's your quote? What you just quoted, who said that? What do you mean what I just quoted? We just he just quoted something, yes? Yeah, he quoted which, the Bible Which disciple said that? What do you mean? Jesus Christ said Christ right, is the invisible. He just asked you a question. Uh huh. Am I, am I speaking to you or your lawyer? Yeah. <laughs> it was Paul. Who was speaking was to me? You or Paul, you? Yeah. Well, he was, was speaking Paul. to him, so why are you being hypocritical? Oh, 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 okay, yeah. because you won't shut up. You won't shut up, and your heckler didn't shut up. Okay, it's so Paul. And so, I just want to understand what's being said. The answer right? is Paul. Okay. I'm not getting involved in the conversation. Okay. I want to understand and follow the conversation. Yeah, okay. so the answer okay. is Paul. So he asked you a simple question. The answer is which Paul. Which you said, a disciple of Jesus. Yeah. He asked you a question. Which disciple of Jesus give you this metaphysical claim about Jesus being there? Paul. Right, so you believe Paul was a disciple of Jesus? Yeah. Why? Because he saw him on the road to Damascus. Okay, how do you understand the term disciple of Jesus? Someone who followed Christ. Someone who followed an Christ. Apostle. An apostle. Did they have to be chosen by it, Jesus? We can call it apostle if yes. that's a better language, that's fine. Oh. That'd be chosen, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. Okay, so you're saying Jesus chose Paul? Yeah. Yeah. Why? Who told you that? The Bible. The Bible. Bible? Why did you believe? All right, so you believe what the Bible says? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Do you believe Paul was a Pharisee? He could have been, yeah. He was definitely involved. Do you believe Paul was a Pharisee? Could have been. Could have been. Yeah. Okay. Why was he going to Damascus? Sorry? Why was he going to Damascus? Well, according to the book of Acts, he was a Pharisee. So why are you saying uh -huh. could be? He said he studied under Galamio. No? What? Do you know what right. He was a Pharisee that went there to persecute Christians, but Christ changed his heart. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Yeah, so he was on the road there to go persecute Christians. He was on his way. He was a Pharisee. The Pharisees. He was a Pharisee. He was a Pharisee. Okay. Did the Pharisees have a problem with Jesus? Yeah. Why? Because he claimed to be God. He also contradicted the Pharisees. The Pharisees believed Jesus claimed to be God. Yeah. Okay. Yes. So they believed he was doing blasphemy. Yeah, that's this year in John. So who had a bigger problem with Jesus? The Sadducees or the Pharisees? The Sadducees and the Pharisees both had problems with him. Who had a bigger problem? I don't know. I don't know how I would judge. How would you establish which one's bigger? Give me who a principle. Who cares more about the religion? The Sadducees. Just give me like a give me like a principle. Who cares more about the religion? Of and explain to me. Okay, explain to me. How would I judge which of these individual people? Go on. That's what I'm saying. Give me a principle. Well, let me keep asking. Sorry, to explain it to yeah, you. Yeah. Keep talking. Okay. The Sadducees. Remember, he wasn't trying to get involved in a conversation, remember? Just, <laughs> but now you're debating. The Sadducees. Yeah, okay. The Sadducees. Yeah, we have no the problem. Pharisees. We have no problem. Do you know who the Sadducees were and who the Pharisees were? They were one of the four groups that practiced Judaism in the time of first, cent first century Palestine, Second Temple Judaism. What was their rules? I don't know if I'm particularly familiar. I know this. I know there's the Essenians, there was the Sadducees, and the Pharisees. The Pharisees were the rabbinic priests. They served in the Sanhedrin. I'm not really so sure about the Sadducees though. Who would care more about Jesus doing blasphemy? The Sadducees or the Pharisees? What's your point? What's your point? I don't I don't know the answer. I don't know your answer, I'll be real. I don't know particularly okay. about these two. You would groups. expect the Pharisees to have a problem. Yeah. Yeah? yeah. The Pharisees had a problem, but you cannot make an inference that they would have more of a problem than the Sadducees. Yeah, you can. Any you can. I'll explain, why the... you, I'll explain why you can. Because yeah, the Sadducees didn't care about the religion. The Sadducees were, were running the place. The high priest was a Sadducee. 
they were representing Rome's interests in Judea. Is this a debate yeah? about the, the Pharisees? Pharisees? Are you using a couple of people and the actions to the final? The no, whole it's, like, it's like saying a couple of people, the Republicans and the Democrats. You're okay, doing okay, identity okay, politics okay, okay. with a couple of people. You're no, no, no. saying because of few no, no, Sadducees, no, no. you're saying because of few Sadducees did not care about this particular religion. No, no, Therefore, no. all the Sadducees. You've got to understand the politics of being a Sadducee and a Pharisee. What yeah, is happening with the So the Sadducees were basically appointed by Rome. Yeah, they were from the high class families. Yeah. Yeah. So Hamza, are we talking about Sadducees? We're, we're, we're talking about divine simplicity. So you're going to link this back to divine simplicity. I'm going to demonstrate Paul wasn't a Pharisee, yes. So, gonna, so, uh, okay. so, so Paul yeah. has something to do with divine simplicity. And I'm going to demonstrate so that he's got no, no reason to be on the road to Damascus, yeah. Oh, okay. and, and that's got something to do with the essence of God, yeah? Well, that has to do with the fact that you use Paul uh, as a disciple of Jesus, yeah. chosen on the road to Damascus. Yeah. Yeah. So if he wasn't on the road to Damascus, then he wasn't chosen. Now you have to bring a new evidence, maybe what he said. What are you talking about? We're talking about divine simplicity. So We're he, about the so he asked you, you which uh, disciple of Jesus, yeah. and then you come to your Bible. And understands the metaphysics. You came to the Bible, and understand the right, understands yeah. metaphysics, because, and you brought Paul. Of things. Hey, wait, the, wait right. a, no, we didn't, even, we didn't need to bring Paul. We could just understand the essence of no, God. No, he asked you a specific it. question. I know he's which asking Which disciple of Jesus understands this? Just run the argument. Did you just make up an answer? Run the argument. 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 Did you make up an answer? No. Did you make up an answer? No, we didn't make up an answer. The point is that there's that's what it question. seems like. They're making questions. Right. Okay, one second, one second. second. Let's do it again. Let's, let's rewind. Right, ask the question. Okay. <laughs> you said to understand God, when God's speaking about himself, it's all purely metaphysical. Yeah. So, I asked you, did the disciples of Christ understand God the way, in the way of metaphysical understanding like your church fathers did? And you said yes. And I said, which one? And he said, which one? And then you read from the Bible. He said, who said that? You said Paul. Yeah. Now we're questioning the validity of Paul. Yeah, so go on, run your argument. John 2.1. Well, now, there are changing. also many other things I didn't that Jesus it. did. You can run the argument. Where every one of them to be written, I suppose that the world itself could not contain the books that would be written. That's an argument from silence. Anyway, argument from no, silence. Yours yours is silence. Argument from silence. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe no, he did say that. saying, that's not what That's not what they're saying. Should you read it again? Because you don't understand. That is an argument Should you read it again? Because you don't understand. Is it not? Bro, if you're saying, show us in the Bible where divine simplicity is, if it's not no, no, in no, no, there, no. that's an argument that's against divine question, simplicity. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh -oh. oh. He's debunked himself <laughs> using his own fallacy. Uh oh, now you understand divine simplicity.